All right, we're back with another prize picks video. This one's going to be for the NBA preseason. Got a whole lot of games today, so uh, excited to jump into the board. Um, in terms of the channel, guys, we continue to grow almost at 600 subs. So definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We've been killing it Monday Night Football. Uh, we went three for three in our video picks last time, and we even talked about Garoppolo's interception. We even talked about one of the kickers um, that also hit. So we're kind of on a roll trying to keep that going. Um, if you're new to the channel, we do uh, NBA preseason, we do football, you know, college and NFL. Uh, we do MLB, we do even CSGO, we talk about KBO sometimes. Um, so we're all over the place. We've been had a lot of success, and uh, yeah, let me know if you guys enjoy it. But let's jump right into the preseason board here. First guy we're looking at is this Pool and Kuzma combo. Um, now, this is a team that's going to be running these guys a decent amount. I see them both getting, you know, mid-20s in terms of minutes. Uh, there's no more Porzingis, there's no more Beal, Jordan Poole's not playing behind Steph Curry, he's not playing behind Klay Thompson, uh, so they both have the reins, they have to figure out how to play with each other, uh, now I will say this Jordan Poole line was at like 13 and a half earlier in the day, uh, this Kuzma line was at 10 and a half I think early in the day, um, so they're definitely trending upwards, but I'm liking the value on Kuzma, both these guys had terrific years last year, uh, but now they're the guys, they have to figure out how to play with each other, I think they get the minutes tonight, and I think they uh, I think they both go over these lines. But let's pick Kuzma for this one. Don't be afraid to take Poole as well. Um, let's talk about our next guy. We're going to be talking about LaMelo. We're going over on him as well. Um, now, if you look at the preseason stats from last year, I can actually show you guys really quick. Uh, from last year, where are we looking? Charlotte. There they are. So I think Rozier was the guy last year in terms of scoring. Yeah, 15.8 a game. For Rozier in 27 minutes, taking five game in five games, uh, he shot pretty well, 44%. Now Lamelo only averaged 14.5, but he shot pretty poorly. Um, I think Lamelo is going for an All NBA uh, selection potentially this year, even with a poor team. Uh, he's obviously the guy. He has all the talent in the world, um, and I think he I think he shoots a little bit better than the, than those uh, pre four preseason games from last year. So I think they come into it. Lamelo plays well. I saw a post with him, you know, cheesing. His smile was huge. Um, so I think he's ready to have fun tonight and uh, and beat up on this Miami team, who we won't have any idea who's playing in that Miami game um, until probably five minutes before the game. That's just how Miami works. And I guarantee Jimmy Butler, whatever his line is, if he comes out with one, he'll be under. So be on the lookout for that. Um, and then P.J. Washington, Terry Rozier. I also like both these guys. P.J. Washington was like a 15-point game uh, scorer for them last year. Uh, nine and a half just seems low to me. They definitely want to incorporate him. They'll want to incorporate Brandon Miller as well. Um, so, you know, new rookie for them to uh, to mess around with in the preseason. So hoping these guys get a decent amount of time, and I'm liking Lamella. In terms of Cleveland um, and Atlanta, I kind of, again, like the overs on a lot of these picks. Um, if you were going to do like a combo pick, I'm not going to put these guys in the video picks, but a Trey and Donovan combo pick. Um, and then, you know, like kind of hedging that with a with a Mobley and a Garland. Um, I wouldn't mind that. Let's talk about our next pick, though. It's going to be Fred Van Liet. 11 and a half seems too low for a guy coming into a new situation, uh, a new coach um, in Houston with Ime Adoka having the reins now. Uh, again, I think this is a team that's going to be playing their first preseason game, getting these guys into, you know, 20 minutes or so. Uh, Van Vliet's not a huge preseason scorer. Um, but he's going to be running the point for this young team. Uh, he's kind of the veteran. I wish he had an assist line because I think or a points, rebounds, assist line because I would definitely think about that. Um, but yeah, this this 11.5 uh, points line is just is is too low to, for uh, for a guy that's coming in new new threads um, going from Toronto to Houston. And again, Ime Doka has got to get these sets uh, and see what they look like. So I'm liking Van Vliet over. Um, next guy is going to be Scoot Anderson, the Rook. He just saw the two betting favorites, Victor Womanyama and Chet Holmgren. They balled out last night. Uh, I know he probably either watched that game or knew that they, uh, that they balled out. And, uh, Scoot doesn't like to be left behind. He, he didn't want to be, um, you know, the shadow of Womanyama. Uh, even Chet Holmgren now has, has come onto the scene. Um, so I think they're both going to have big years. I think Scoot's going to have a big year. He's the face now. Dame's gone. And Scoot's got to show who uh, who the leading scorer is going to be out there in Portland. Um, so I think this 12 and a half line. I think Weminyama and Chet were also at 12 and a half, and they both shattered that. Uh, I think Scoot gets a lot of run today. Obviously, Aiton's new in there. We'll see if Robert Williams plays. Uh, Anthony Simons as well. 
Um, so this is a, a good over trio here, just because I think they're going to get the time. But uh, Scoot at 12 and a half, yeah, I'll take that all day. Um, next up, we're going to be going to Brandon Ingram. Just another team. We're kind of having a trend here. They're going to be incorporating Zion. Uh, Zion's at 11 and a half. I'd look at that. He just scares me with his injury concerns. This is a preseason game. Um, Ingram averaged 19 a game last year in preseason. Uh, let's go check him out. By the way, a preseason that Zion did play last year. Uh, New Orleans. Let's go here. 2022-2023. Yeah, Ingram averaged 19 a game uh, in only 20 minutes, so he can get there in a hurry. Uh, now Zion also played nine, or, uh, four games with about 19 minutes, but he's only getting about 12 points. Uh, Zion can get there for sure, um, or look, I guess 18 minutes here, and 11 points. I was looking at Valanciunas. Uh, Zion, or Zion can definitely get there in a hurry. Uh, I wouldn't be too, too scared of taking this in other plays, uh, but I'm favoring Ingram, especially if they're at the same, they're at the same line here. Um, Ingram's a great scorer. Obviously, he's done it in the preseason. Um, I think they're going to have to play with each other just to get their, uh, their footing correct for this year. Um, so yeah, I'm liking, I'm liking Ingram's over as well. And then last but not least, uh, we're going to go with the guy right next to him. We're going with Franz. Uh, Paolo is sitting at 13 and a half. Um, so I would look at that as well. Let's go jump into the preseason last year. Franz is coming off a huge FIBA, FIBA, uh, summer. He played extremely well. Um, I think he just continues to grow. He's one of the more underrated players, young players in this league. Why can't I find this team? Orlando. Orlando. Um, not this year. 2022-2023. Yeah, so Paolo averaged 14. Franz averaged 13. Uh, Franz, another guy I wish I could have a points, rebounds, assist line on because he kind of does a little bit of everything. But he can definitely score the ball. Um, 13 a game last year, which would be over. He'll need 11 and a half, um, so 12 points to get over. Uh, I think Franz is more of a scorer this year, um, just because he has that capability. Obviously, Paolo is going to be doing his thing as well, which is why I don't mind doing him um, in other slips. But I'm picking Franz for the video picks. Is that six? Yeah, we got six on the board. Um, but yeah, just a lot of a lot of different value on a lot of these guys. Again, Zion could be a sneaky play. Paolo is obviously an interesting play. I'd stay away from Wendell. Um, just because he doesn't usually perform or hasn't performed in post in preseason um, recently, and I think um, Paolo and, and uh, Franz are just better uh, value at 11 and a half and 13 and a half than than Wendell's nine and a half. Um, and then in terms of Milwaukee, I just don't know that dynamic just yet. Uh, I could definitely see Dame going over, showing out in his preseason debut if he gets if he actually plays. Uh, Marcus Smart's seven and a half is I keep going back and forth if I like the under or the over better. Um, I think I'm leaning on the under here if he does play. Uh, Desmond Bain, obviously up at 15 and a half. Jaron Jackson at 13 and a half. Uh, I kind of like Jaron's under, um, just coming on their second game. Uh, and then kind of talking through the rest of these guys. Walker Kessler was a guy that stood out to me. I think that eight and a half point line is too low. Uh, he was one of the leading minutes getters in the first game. Uh, and I think he had seven points and missed like four free throws. So he could have got there easily. Um, and then I'm not touching Kawhi just because he scares me. I'm not touching Paul George. That Clipper team scares me. I was thinking about Westbrook's under. Um, but, yeah, just a lot of plays to be had. Uh, whenever you see a five-and-a-half point line, you got to look at it. I think uh, Mitchell Robinson was an easy over for five-and-a-half. So I'd probably look more into Steven Adams. Um, but, yeah, just a whole lot of a lot of plays to be had. Um, but I'm going with this six. First game for Kuzma and the Wizards. First game for LaMelo and the, and the Hornets. First game for Fred Van Vliet in, uh, in Houston. Um, so these guys are both making their debut. But uh, yeah, Charlotte's first game preseason. Washington's first preseason game. Houston's first preseason game. Portland's first preseason game. New Orleans' first preseason game. And I think Orlando's preseason. I think it's everyone's first preseason game. So I'm liking these first preseason games for everyone. Um, this is the combo we're going with. Let's go ahead and submit that. 20 for 200. Um, and yeah. Definitely do your research, see if there's any injury news uh, even closer to game time if you wait out on these. Um, but I will say a lot of these lines bump pretty quickly. Um, so it's kind of a, you know, give or take if you're going to wait on the line or if you're not. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to do it for this video. Uh, stay tuned for a WNBA uh, video for tomorrow. Um, definitely going to try to get some. Um, uh, let me know if you want an NHL as well. Obviously, that started today. Uh, I dabbled in that just a little bit it my myself um mlb obviously is in the postseason i think i have a play going on right now for that 
Uh, yeah, we got this play. I think Abreu already has a like a three-run homer. Um, Kramer I like as well. But I'm kind of rambling at this point. Um, like in preseason, I could talk about it all day. There's a lot of good value out there. You just got to know where to look for it. Um, if those guys are going to get the minutes, uh, then they should be able to hit these overs. Um, if you're scared about other players, then don't take them. And, uh, yeah, mix and match these. Don't have to take all six. Let me know what you like in the comments. Let me know if you're really uh, hating one of these plays. Let me know if you love one of these plays. Let me know if you got another play that you want to let everyone else know about. Um, but, yeah, that's going to do it. Preseason starts, or uh, the game start in about two hours, so you got a, a bit of time. Obviously, there's some later ones here. Um, but, yeah, that's going to do it. Definitely subscribe, like the video, comment down below. That's going to do it. Peace.